my page and you guys are gonna have to go get it. Okay. Something is happening, it won't let me. Paper, please. Mine was a big paper. Thank you very much. Book, please. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's going to have to be that way. See how things work out? It's quite all right. I need more wine. Jeez. All right. What's happening? Are we frozen? On the Zoom. That's a home of compliance. He's in the chat, yeah. Okay. So, why is it? You send it to me. Okay. Yeah, we'll try to do the whole link so you have them all together. But I forgot how to do it. Are we live? We are live. <laughs> good people. Good people. A hello and good night and good evening. <laughs> and welcome to the Back to Love movement. You know, it's a lot. Listen, let me, I just got to start. Hi, everybody. My name is Wisdom. We're going to finally get the show started this evening. I got a whole nother introduction that ain't even playing. Ask the children, because that's who mostly is back to love. I call them babies because they like 20 years younger than me. So that, not everybody. I'm, but y'all y'all didn't do this. I'm talking about the ones who came out and decided to do this. So we decided we were going to have a house party slash artist showcase and embrace the flame. That's what we're doing. So I asked them to come over and set it up so they can have the Zoom and... It, live and streaming it's a whole he's not gonna move the mic to show y'all but it's a whole production going on over here there's lights everywhere i came in the woman's house is my sister mo <laughs> thank you mo for letting us host thank you so much yo i wasn't ready let me just say no for real i was so unprepared for walking in this house and seeing what i saw and Y'all have a live audience. Um, I'm gonna make sure that they, can you all hear the crowd? Woo! The people on the screen, can, me... can y'all hear them? Hey, the crowd. Yeah, I can hear them. So I think, you know, I had this brainchild. Let's try to figure out how we can have a house party and Zoom it and do poetry and bring people in. I told them and they did it and I'm appreciative. I am truly appreciative. So back to love, right? This is who we are. This is what we do. We do a podcast <laughs> Sunday, 7 p.m. Am I lying? 7 p.m. to whenever it's over. And we're trying to start a little movement. And it's a baby movement right now. But I'm blessed for it, for this baby movement. And I'm blessed for the people <clears throat> I surround myself with, um, young and old. It's a good mixture of what's happening in the world today. They keep us informed. We keep them informed. And that's what Back to Love is about. Informing the community, <laughs> talking to the community, having dialogue with the community about things that's going on, honest dialogue, truthful dialogue. And I'm grateful for it. I'm very grateful for it. And uh, for these sisters and brothers, kings and queens, emperors and empresses. <laughs> no doubt um, for them being in the building this evening. So we got a little show, we're a little late, but we're living in a virtual world. And truly had we been in a venue, we could have potentially been late too. I mean, that's just what it is, it's what it is. We got some wonderful artists who came to hang out with us on Zoom, guys. And again, thank you. To the brothers I surrounded myself with, they found, y'all see what they found mostly, right? Ladies, y'all see what happened? Every time you leave things up to the brothers, I tell you. So uh, <laughs> we are going to actually go ahead and get started again in, in, in the world of entertainment, right? Things change, our whole little schedule and got thrown off a little bit. Um, somebody give me a time check. 
excellent, actually. Close. Let me tell you how the universe is moving. The ain't first right. person, ain't, ain't that the ain't, truth? Ain't right. Bless us this evening. If y'all can see this people, piece of paper, it says 8, 16 p.m. Napoleon Solo Vox. Come on. Perfect timing. Hey. And everybody who in this building is supposed to be up in this building. We ain't got to make a whole lot of announcements about who's in the building, because when they touch the mic, they're going to let you know. Y'all show some love for Napoleon. Woo! Peace, peace, peace. Am I coming through? Am I coming through? You hear me? Okay, cool, cool, yes, cool. Yes, yes. That's it. So um, I'm just gonna do a quick, a quick introduction for, for what's happening this evening on my side of the universe. <laughs> from France. Uh, I'm not in France, I'm in France, but another town called Petrochon. About an hour from here, an hour east from here, you will cross the Switzerland border between France and Switzerland. And just before you cross that border, you will pass a, a, a castle or a chateau, a huge fortress. And what's significant about that fortress in France, just before you leave France going into Switzerland, is that's where uh, was imprisoned and where it died, uh, the first successful uh, uh, revolutionary that fought against uh, colonial powers and, and defeated slavery, defeated, defeated the, the France. France had, it, in, in Haiti, in what is now called Haiti, at the time it was San Domingo. I'm talking about Toussaint Louverture. So other people fought against uh, colonizers but in, in Haiti, they were enslaved and the enslaved people revolted and eventually beat France. So France had to let Haiti go. They had to let them go. They had to let the, 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 the Africans down there, they had to let them, they had to, they had to, give, they had to give them the freedom that they fought for. And that's the painting you see behind me is one of Toussaint Louverture that I've been working on because I'm also working on a, a, a page show about Toussaint Louverture. So the first piece that I'm gonna do is uh, 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 a, a piece part of a part of a song where we are imagining uh, the way that Toussaint responded to Bonaparte when when Napoleon Bonaparte responded to the Declaration of Independence because. Bonaparte sent this letter back to him saying, you know, because you have uh, declared your nation, your, yourself a nation, and you're, you're saying that you're free and you're aut aut autonomous, then this is a, as an affront. This is an insult to the French sovereignty. You're insulting our, our royal right to be a nation. And, and so you know, we're gonna have to send some troops there and you're gonna have to cut this nonsense of independence. You're gonna have to cut it out. So this piece is called The Letter. And you're gonna get some quotes that you recognize. I got a letter from the government the other day, wanting more cafe, but they ain't trying to pay. I got a letter from the government the other day. I opened and read it. It said they were suckers. How many empires must get dissed before they understand we ain't having it? I got a letter from the government the other day wanting more cafe, but they ain't trying to pay. I got a letter from the government the other day. I opened and read it. It said it was suckers. How many empires must get dissed before they understand we ain't having it? Yo, your permission for my freedom is unneeded. And if I'm asking for it, then I'm blaspheming. The pen strokes is jokes from misled demons. Chains on brains, stockades on thinking. You slaves too, but you can't see it. What you won't do, what we won't do, is let you keep us. Look at this, Leclerc. Tell your chief to read it. Leclerc, Leclerc was the was the, the, the general from France or the, the, the second in charge from France that Bonaparte sent to Haiti to bring this letter to Toussaint and the Haitians and say, uh, look, guys, you, you, can't really, you can't really be free like you wanna be. So here's this letter of, of, of all these flowery words telling you, 
okay, you know, this is when I say, take this Leclerc, tell your chief to read it. His pride might hurt because he's quite conceited, but he gonna learn exactly why I'm leading. No more free work and we don't mind bleeding. You gonna tax us for that. He shots rule. When I say, he gonna tax us for that. Y'all gonna tax us for that is that after Haiti won its independence, then France, and bullying manner said, if you don't want us to invade you anymore, we're gonna have an annual tax on you for lost revenue. And this lasted for a long time. This didn't just, this didn't end the law way back in the ancient days. This continued into the 20th century. The Haiti was paying a loss of revenue tax to France to maintain its sovereignty and to be to, to, to be relieved from the threat of military invasion. You want to tax us, tax us for that? But these shots ringing, metal clash echoes when these blades swinging to the next of heads that's not conceiving for the next generation, liberation achieving. You can try to hide us, but they still see us. Rikers Island, the Fort de Joux. Fort de Joux is the name of the chateau, the name of the prison where he where Toussaint died. You can try to hide us, but they still see us. Rikers Island, the Fort de Joux won't defeat us. I got a letter from the government the other day, want a more cafe, but they ain't trying to pay. I got a letter from the government the other day, open and read it. It said they were suckers. I got a letter from the government the other day. How many empires must get dissed before they understand we ain't having it? Now I'm gonna run it down one last time without the explanation. Your permission for my freedom is unneeded. And if I'm asking for it, but then I'm blaspheming your pin strokes to jokes from misled demons, chains on brain, stockades on thinking. You slaves too, but you can't see it. What we won't do is let you keep us. Take this Leclerc, tell your chief to read it. His pride might hurt cause he's quite conceited, but he gonna learn exactly why I'm leading. No more free work and we don't mind bleeding. You want to tax us for that, but D shots ringing, metal clash echoes when blades swinging, connect to the necks of heads that's not conceiving for the next generation, liberation achieving. You could try to hide us, but they still see us. Rikers Island to Fort de Joux, you won't defeat us. That's that piece right there. So I'll do um, I'll do one more, and it's. Uh, So, so this this second oh. piece, uh, somebody's feedback real good. Feedback. Like, okay. So um, this piece, the second piece I'm gonna do is it's called Game Over, and I'm gonna dedicate this to to all of the the creative freedom fighters and and, and rebel poets and love activists and organizers out there in the world. Um, oh, is that my is that my time? Uh, wisdom. You know, it's, it's some changes have occurred here. So okay. you got, I, I can I can give you like four, three, four more minutes. Oh yeah, I don't, I, I yeah, won't even do this. We need I to fill in some space. A couple things didn't happen like they needed to, but we gonna make it happen. Okay, okay, I won't, I won't even use three. This one is called, this one is called Game Over. I'm making movements with hope for improvement, facing the brute in the jungle with two fists, ready to knock toothless. The beast trying to repossess what I got for the youth at the rest. So I'm keeping my step. See the beat in my step? Yo, I'm keeping my step. See the beat in my step? Leaves is cracking, branches snapping, cause I came for mine, that's what's happening. Who's is cracking, branches snapping, cause I came for mine, that's what's happening. Game over in the sense that you a masterpiece, at least. Not a game piece in the least. Game over in the sense that you a masterpiece, at least. Not a game piece in the least. I'm making choices. In the jungle with noise, it's hard to pick out between growls and voices. And the soil is moist with blood and tears, so there's plenty rejoicing. When the girls and boys is controlling the joystick and shocking the game with the wisest choices, like who is authentic and who the decoys is gaining respect and staying connected like the flyers McCoys did, exploring the world after being on the market like items divided and sorted. 
imported, exported. We killing the game, but it's never reported. Go ahead, ignore it, we scoring. Life is a jungle for sure, my cat. Why be upset about where you at? You could be you and no one else. Who gonna be you if not yourself? Life is a jungle for sure, my cat. Why be upset, why be upset, why be upset about where you at? You can be you and no one else. Who gonna be you if not yourself? Game over in the sense that you a masterpiece, at least not a game in the least. Peace. Bars. We cheer. Okay, we figured it out. When we cheer this shit, we gotta turn it down because we too loud. So we just want to make sure you hear the cheers, though. That's what's up. Yes, Hati. So my brother is all the way across the seas. Tell him where you at. Did you tell him? I did. I did. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm in France. I'm in business on France. What is, see, I need to be able to hear them because I'm going to be talking to them. So you got to turn it up. It's just me talking. Hold up for a sec. No, so I said, yeah. yeah I mean, I'm in. I'm in. I want to make sure I got to hear you. And we got a little too much technology. <laughs> <laughs> so again, my fault, baby. Tell them where you at. <laughs> nah, I'm in business on France. Yeah. Oh, shit. So it's pretty. <laughs> My cousin said I can't even you so crazy. Um yeah, I uh where how what time is it where you are? It's uh almost 2 30. In the morning. In the morning. I love you. Oh. I love you. Thank you so much for coming through. Hey, talk, talk for organizing this. He does this for me, and his brother needs to be in bed. So if he check out tonight, he just he checking out tonight, and we should respect. Bon that. Nuit, Thank you so much. much love. Yes. So the next sister that we have coming to the mic um, is a part of Back to Love. We've been doing this thing virtually. We've literally pulled off podcasts not being able to be with each other at all virtually. We do a Zoom. Yeah. It ain't fancy. But it's supposed to be. It's for information, you know? Um, and this is my first time being able to meet the sister in person, though. That's the world we've been living in for the last year and a half. So y'all show some love to my sister, T. Come on. Woo! Welcome, thank you, thank you, thank you all for joining us today. I'm gonna go get started and waste no time. I'm in all of these streets. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I'll start with the first call Phoenix Rising. I take the ashes that fell from the hells I rose from, illuminate the skies with the light that I came from. Ashes went to fertilizer, nutrients for the food, grounded and still soaring up there with the moon. Original afternoon at the highest peak, top of the day, full sun rays, no, a no cloudy day. Instead of fighting fears, I invite them to stay and learn the origins and patterns, mold them. This is my clay. I put the fire to the vase, no reason to run nor to escape. Flying up and out the way, fire burns to claim its place. I don't do this often at all, so you know, I'm geeking right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, the next one is called Time Zones. We are walking time zones, living and existing in the future and the past. The present creates the future. The future will be the past again. The baby becomes a baby again. Teenage adults showing off in front of our friends. Shadow sides expose traumatic times, a minefield, a war, World War III, if you will. But spiritually, please keep the time zones at ease. What time is it? Time traveling 360 degrees. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, okay, the next one is glitch in my memory. <clears throat> I walk deep into euphoria. Warm kisses like the warm kisses like the heat in wintertime. Breezes make love to my existence, crept into my lungs and filled her with the presence of life. 
I kicked off my shoes and became one with the earth. She told me we had never departed. I blew kisses to the sky. My mirror image kissed me back. So did the being standing beside me. I closed my eyes for a while. I saw nerves like branches and water like my bloodstream, bones like the trunk of a tree. Connection, yes, we had never departed, just a glitch in my memory. But thankfully, without realizing, I had walked back into euphoria. I'll always come back to you. Glitch in my memory. That was great. That was great. Thank you. Now this one, I had planned on some other ones, but I saw this and it's like perfect timing for what's going on right now. So um, this, I had wrote this in 2016 at a vital turning point in my life. And just to go back on this, I'm like, dang, that's deep. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, so um, this is cool. I just called it vibe. Uh, let's see. I done played around too long. It's time to write another story about the life and its unexpectedness and times of unloyalties because time is not because time is not a reality. It's a dream within a dream forced to follow by society. Rushing, rushing through life, then wondering when time, where time went. Fence, uh, fenced up in the thoughts of other entities without following our own voice and thoughts. It suddenly becomes extremely vain and insane to scream land of the free. We are still trying to obtain true freedom of mind, of choice, of speech, and of voice with no fear of being jailed for exposing the truth about dark forces. The light bulbs and of courses are popping out of the ground like pretty, pretty weeds. Awakenings are happening regardless of who does or does not believe. Love seeds are finally sprouting, soon to spread their leaves. Upward and outward like the life of a tree, deeply rooted functions are rising from the ground and from the sea. A cleansing awaits from the hearts of you and me. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Yes, we are rolling. I hope you all are enjoying yourselves out there, out there in um, virtual land. Again, we appreciate you being here with us this evening. Uh, the next brother, to the to the word space. We're gonna call it a word space because y'all don't have a mic, but y'all can hold y'all brushes and shit. And, <laughs> Whoa. My fault. I mean, you know, but I'm just saying <laughs> um my fault that's my fault i'm gonna try really hard to behave myself i promised my group i was going to behave myself today and i absolutely will they snickering it's not funny <laughs> um uh so the next brother that's coming to the mic when he first came to open mic i used to do a show um before the world shut down and uh he told me his name and i wrote it down but when i said it on the mic, I said deep stroke. That's not the boy's name. That's not the man. <laughs> the man's name is depth, like depth stroke. So I, I guess y'all can see where my where my mind is. Go ahead and switch this view before I get myself in trouble. <laughs> Alright, so my phone, please. Um, title Battle Tested. The war has begun. Am I outman if I'm an army of one? Things hit differently when you are able to do the unexpected, when you are past your predecessor to being battle tested, when love is erected to stroke possibility into continuity. When you determine and contemplation, uh, when you, when, when your determination and con content complacency become the foundation of the man in me. My anger motivates, my soul elevates, 
words as if they were exalted. My mind said, assaulted conventional thinking to prevent me from blinking. I see all as I free all. I pay attention to each stepping stone. Barriers I maneuver while alone. Just wait until I am fueled by the power of two. No greater feeling than one who believes in you. This fire within burns is the sire of a thousand suns. With the desire so dire, my life depends on it. I am why there is a paradigm shift. Heaven does not see so, seem so far. When each battle scar, I have learned to inflict my truth for the benefit of transparency. I must be true to this decree that I am less than a God, but more than a man. These emotional and spiritual wars become keys to unlock doors to blessings to be bestowed upon destinies. And it is up to me to choose. I will not lose in peace. All right, my second piece is called I Adore You. Whenever I can think of a poem to write, you inspire me. Sometimes when I write a poem, I write about, let me bring that back. Yeah. Whenever I can think of a poem to write, you inspire me. Every time I write a poem about you and I, you desire me. However, that is in the poem. In real life, I adore you. On days I do not see you, I become sad and wish for you, wish to know more about you. My feelings cannot exist without you, see? Your spoken language is divine. I like how words interchange and intertwine as if we're two halves of the same person seven at the middle of the spine. Whenever you speak to me on the phone, it comforts me when I'm alone. I remember you piqued my interest at first glance. Some nights I lay awake hoping for the chance of holding you hand in hand, arm in arm. Dreams of you are always interrupted by the alarm, which reminds me that I must go seek out my occupation. However, I want my salary to be based on this infatuation that I have for you because I adore you. My heart beats for you. Let me assure you. Your name occupies my breath. The image of your face relaxes my mind. A smile so pretty. You are beauty defined. In peace. Do I have time for one more? Yeah, one more. One more. The title of this piece is called Her. Be mine. Be my sunshine. Be the inspiration to end my pen starvation. Be the envy of the preceding fantasies. Be my thirst. Dreams place her in first. Her walk is so delicious. This passion is seductively vicious. The way to rejoice is determined by melanin, strokes, and taste of choice. Be the sweetest of afternoons. Be the queen of 10,000 moons. My pen has a blues for Nina. This Love Jones speaks hymns that were unknown until she inspired me. She desired me and I her. Why her? Because we pour into each other. Now that there is a moment, the present is more than a gift. Be the inspiration that will uplift a lesser known society and learn possibility. This has been preordained from the mind frame to the possibility of sharing the last name, inspired by the creator on high. Make me a believer. Make me believe her when 
the only option is to me her in peace Conversations go, it's whole conversations going on in the background over here, right? They, mm, mm. so this is what I need you to do for me, DC, real quick. I need you to say the very last line of that piece. Come here, Come here. <laughs> can you hear her clearly? Say just the absolute last line of the poem when the only option is to me, her. Her. And it's not what she said. And she said it. She was hanging on so intensely to every word that she was prepared to say that when we got to the end. Thoroughly prepared. It came out like right perfect timing. Yes, yes. All right, we got plenty of poets this evening, and we need to make sure we keep it going. So the next sister to the mic is Miss Ty. Give me that paper. Uh, That's me. Sure. <laughs> yep, Victoria. Go Ty, go Ty. Absolutely. Ty, Victoria. Now, I don't know the little sister, but she knows some people that I know that's down Hi, with me, cool with me too. I want you all. Is she, uh... yeah, she's, there you go. Period. We got Hi, it. No. What are you doing, Previn? Is it working? You need tie right on. It's, it's going. Oh, oh, it's lagging. That's all. All right, Miss Ty should be as soon as she starts speaking, she shall come up. Y'all is it working? Oh, okay, I just got to talk a little bit. Am I there? Y'all can hear me. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. Well, hi, thank you. Yes, thank you, Wisdom. Thank you for hosting. I appreciate you. I'm loving the vibes. Um, thank you so, so much. So gave me the wonderful invitation for this. So I appreciate my poetry, brother. Um, I'm loving all the new, just the new artists that I'm hearing. I love new poetry. So I just appreciate the vibe that's happening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my little two pieces and get out of the way. Hold on, Miss Ty. I want you to hold on for me for one second. I don't mean to interrupt okay. you. Technical issues because it's a lot of equipment in here. Of we course. Are a little bit, and we need to be able to hear you where we are so we can make sure we show you some love. Um, of course. So, how many of you all are connected to Wi Fi? Some people you need to get off the Wi Fi. It's the one thing that. Um, uh in person cannot be defeated by it just cannot be defeated by and i cannot absolutely i mean i can't wait absolutely wait to be back in place with y'all absolutely all right i think we might try it again it says your bandwidth is low uh oh no ray ready it's 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 no, no, it took my Wi-Fi off. There, there. there we are. Hi, Mama Sita. We just needed to be able to see you. It's gonna be a little lag, but we're gonna hear everything. All right, get yeah, ready. We ready. Go for it. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get started. If you know me, then you should know this poem. Um, if not, then it's an oldie but goodie. It's called the finer things. I like the finer things in life and I don't mean that monetary, materialistic, monotonous fine talking, that heart racing, soul feeding, big beard and textured hair fine, see? In the 26 years I've been living, I realize there's much more to life. I would hate to look back and think this was my greatest height. Should I hope I'm 80 years old, still twerking and taking flights? What I learned most is it's about the destination. Not where you've been, but the manifestation of where you're going. And if that male or female can't catch your wave, then tell them keep flowing. Because this life is too short and I really ain't got time. I'm trying to awaken my third eye in a world that's legally blind. And I know this ain't for everybody. Can't everybody be on that conscious tip? But before you try to tell me about your conscious D, I'm going to take you on a trip. I'm trying to write my name on the wall of God to have lunch and just, oh, have 
lunch and discuss afterlife with my Egyptian fathers. Meditate with the Dalai Lama. Forget a postcard. I want to take selfies with my mama. Because this ride ain't just for me. I had a friend that went to Africa. The next time it's going to be we. My greatest success would be seeing all God's people free. So if you doubt with that, we can spark something and find us some serenity. Taking frequencies to different galaxies. Creating families and expanding on my ability to grow. These are the finer things in life. And it's a shame some people will never, ever know. All right, that's the first one, y'all. Thank you, thank you. Uh, if I have time, we can keep it moving if we need to. Did you hear me, Wisdom? Yes. Okay, you want me to, do, you said do another one or keep it moving? Okay, I think I'll do another one then. Um. I don't know if I got this one fully memorized, but I'm gonna do my best, y'all. Um, it's called B-L-A-C-K. B is for bold, brilliant, and the best. For the times we were beat down, but still managed to manifest. For the broken down backs from the slave master's whips and the white babies that fled on black, black women's breasts. For the blisters, bloodshed, and all the blessings in between. These are the letters that make being black a beautiful thing. L is for love, lynching, and our lasting longevity. The loss of so many Black leaders, but still we carry their legacy. The light of the stars that helped us to see, and the look on their faces when Obama won presidency. A is for our ancestors, how amazing they all were. In ancient Africa, they were acknowledged royalty whose souls were awakened and pure. Stolen from the homeland and auctioned off that land and sea, to this day, they have audacity to tell us who, where, and how to be. C is for the courage to stand up to oppression. Cops who view our black practice as a crime and a weapon. The community of creatives, the, the community of creatives to contribute to our culture regardless of misconception. C is for the coffee, curls, self-made careers and anything else black oriented. Now K is for the triple letter clan that wanted us killed. But also Martin Luther King Jr. who saw freedom in his will. For every black kid uh -oh, who protested in Montgomery, and for every knee taken get, that gets looked at funny. We got 10 folk from around the world due to those ships that came to attack. But I'm thankful for that history because I love, I love being black. All right, that's me, y'all. Thank you, thank you so, so much. I'm staying on here the rest of these bomb A artists. Two minutes. I got more time. It's up to um, you, though. Well, how bad can I be? I mean, I was y'all was talking about don't be PG. Do I need? To, can I be a little rated R? Can I talk? Don't be nice. Or? Be nasty. Be Listen, nasty. Be nasty. Okay, okay. Hold on. Turn that down. She don't because it's echoing back. Okay. Everybody up in here, grown. <laughs> <laughs> and and also and also this might be the okay disclaimer. See, I didn't know you was going there. Don't make me go there this evening. I was going to behave myself. Gotta go there, girl. Um, um, disclaimer, if the children are watching with you, this might be the part where they shouldn't. You know, Here just, we go. just tell you them, don't, don't watch TV, baby. Come on, don't talk, watch Victoria. TV. <laughs> I ain't going to be too bad. Let me, I'm, I'm going to try to remember it. Hold on, I got two. Let me see. What are we doing? Um, no, I don't know if I can remember that one, y'all. So I ain't gonna do it to us. Um, I think I can do this one. I sent you the cutoff text because after three years, six months, and 128 days, I had to wonder what the fuck am I still doing here? I mean, it's been crystal clear, but I still chose to ignore it. It's like when you haven't been to the gym in a year and then wonder why you're so sore, like really? I thought I knew myself better than that, but just like an addict, I didn't realize I had an addiction and you were the crack. Or maybe I did see. I should have stopped when you used me the first time. I should have stopped when you used me for bedtime. I should have stopped when you looked me in the eye and said you still wanted your ex. If that was a sign, I don't know what was. All I know was is I wanted love and I chose it in the worst way, but nobody ever taught me if you don't know the game, then you shouldn't play. And your idea to show me you were the one was the attempt to make me come. I said the attempt to make me come because honestly, I fake that shit just as much as you fake loving me. So who's really the dummy and who really ain't shit? 
Okay, y'all, that's, that's that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm definitely no, staying in no. so You might, you know, you might be giving, oh, oh, how old are you? I'm just curious. Uh, I'm 26, girl. Girl, you wait till you 40. It gets so much better with time. <laughs> <laughs> you wait because you already there. I love it, y'all. Thank, Thank y'all so much. No, Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much just for coming. Cash apps are in the chat. Um, it's a lot of letters and I missed the first two. DC, if you still on, I got you, baby. We'll make sure that we get them all to everybody, but we're also putting them on Facebook so people can hit y'all up. Thank you so, so much. And y'all take care of these orders. If y'all watching, y'all getting this shit for free. Act like it's a cover. Go on, get them, do that. All right, so I guess it's my turn. Y'all listen, no listen. I haven't done a poem and like it's been a minute beginning of 2019 really I kind of pulled back from the mic I was hosting but I hadn't really the performing is hard every week when you owe um <laughs> so it is it is it's different I'm not 20 and that every week and drinking every Thursday because not that you gotta drink nobody's <laughs> <laughs> but you know all right so i'm gonna do this piece um oldie but goodie the second one i'm doing is long so i'm actually gonna wait to do that one and um just do this one first it's been a while y'all be She's nice to me she got it. be nice to me <clears throat> i want to write a poem one that thirst for the abundance of life multi -layer full of dreams and passions that burst forth with good times despite the hard times. Maybe it will, but it might not rhyme. I want to write a poem, not of patriotism, but of pride. I mean, why should I pledge allegiance to this lie besides my black is beautiful? And it will never be defined by European standards falsely designed to make me despise my lips, my hips, my skin kissed by the sunshine. You see, these traits are inherently mine. So I'm, I'm gonna rock these naughty locks, discredited or mock they hate cause they want what they ain't got. Boy. I want to write a poem of spoken word form so that my words resonate like the vibrations of a drum and stroke in the ears, like the lyrics of Erica in her state of Baduism. I want to write a poem, a heart to heart, a mind to third eye, see, think, and do, make you pause, breathless, you be ready to fight for the cause. This ain't about breaking laws, it just be about righting wrongs, and we all got flaws, so if you throw the first stone, your house better be made of brick walls. I want to write a poem that leaves you awestruck like, damn, girlfriend spit that piece, but way down deep from the sole of her feet with a heart that beats the same blood as poetic legacies. I want to write a poem about freeing minds and spirits from downtrodden social classes and deterred dreams. Free from closed-minded asses who would rather you accept as truth that we are weak, stupid, unworthy of freedom, doubting that you are a child of God. I want to write a poem that defies standardization and gloats in its non-structure, lacking punctuation, a fuck censorship kind of poem. See, my interpretation of every inner city situation breeding self-devaluation will not bear the subjugation of this nation's standard American English translation. I want to write a poem of life tragedies or better yet, life truths. Because truth sets facts free. A racial profile in black on black crime, crack babies, ADHD poem, a television raising, game console playing, generation of babies being made lazy poem, a not knowing that Willie Lynch designed your undoing, 300 years of ruin poem, a single mother's frowned upon by caseworkers for still needing help with this life, this life full of images that encourage my sisters to get low to the ground and bounce to that ass, makes a clapping sound to lay down so much she forgets how to stand up until all she believes is that her body is the key to how much she can achieve unfulfilled dreams, self suspect self esteem. I want to write a poem for my brothers in the struggle who work hard every day to stay on the path of the humble, calls on the most high when he stumbles, and even when he invites peace and not strife, makes his ma baby's mama his wife and is serious about the rearing of his children. He is re rewarded with a job that only pays minimum wage. Now, how's he going to feel like a man when he can barely feed his babies? This raggedy ass poem. <laughs> 
this raggedy ass card he was dealt. I want to write a poem full of cliches, metaphors, and similes about back in the days when we rock nonstop to free flowing hip hop, did dances like the walk when the content of your rhyme matters. Facts. And the careers could be shattered if your lyrics was whack. Before right. niggas and pimps and hustlers took over the track, I want to write a, I want my hip hop back poem. Yeah. I want to write a poem that leaves the reader distracted by lingering thoughts of what lies between the tongue twisting punchlines. I want to write a poem heavy with mood, sick with, sick with attitude, smooth and mellow. You sit back and enjoy this high poem. I want to write a poem that retracts the common adage that Bill Clinton is back black because he can blow a mean sack so that J-Lo is shaped like a sister from the back because sometimes we give our culture away too easy. Mm. I want to write a poem and I am going to write until we stop striving to be equal to uncouth people. You, my brothers and sisters, are already regal. And I am going to write until it no longer matters whose pockets are fatter because our struggles are all the same and we all carry the mark of our slave given name. And I am going to write until my people are less conformed and prepared to inform the next generation. Liberation is in the path that we pave, the legacy that remains after we have lived our last days. And I am going to write a poem about roots that run deep and instill in we that being free does not mean we have to surrender our identity. So you tell me, did I write the poem? That felt good down in my crawl area. <laughs> Yo, it's been a long time. That felt a map. Uh, absolutely. Thank you. My 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 sidekicks make sure because I wasn't ready for the next poem. I got carried away. All right. So we're supposed to have a brief intermission. Somebody show me and give me a time check. 8.57. All right. So my band, that's what I said, my band. Ow. <laughs> and we're going to do this about eight minutes because I think we rolling good, 10 minutes. They're going to jam for us a little bit. Y'all go to the restroom. We've been doing this for a second. Get your drinks together. The next on the mic following the intermission will be a vocalist will be coming to enjoy us, uh, to uh, spend some time with us this evening. All right, we're gonna get everything set up. Y'all hang out with us for a minute. We're gonna rock out for a sec. We hope y'all having a good time. We gotta get the band chance to do their thing. It's called the Back to Love Groove Squad. I'm so 1990s, I'm so 1990s. Ah, with that name, that's what's up, let's go. I like it too. I thought it was kind of fresh. Hey. All right.
Paragon is a pair of guys bearing arms. She's comparing flaws in the daily spas, Billy Boss. Boop of guitar, dark liquor, ink and scars. Memoirs of the heart, we're art, exploring just who we are. Beautiful, crucible, splendid room to grow. To a bow, coolio, let's get ready, yo. Being dutiful hasn't always been suitable for me. It's for me closer to my funeral. Whoa, you lazy mirage, I aim up a wise to rock your daily besides my image of God and monsters. No rest for the wicked, I am the monster. Lock this here pop of climb of Kevin Costner. I'm facing my giants in the face of a lion. You sleeping with sirens, I'm poor angry lions. On this search for my ISIS, the fight of Osiris. All over my irises, fire that burns within. Floating in my mother's ship, wondering where my father is. For the man I will become, better know the father is. Elephant of intelligence, elegance. For my where the wick is imperative, comparative to none. There's only one son, but now for so long, the only way is up. Tread cautiously when you step to me, more so one does not simply walk in the more door. No, wait a minute, I'ma back up a second. In my bar, at these rappers talking, now they necklace. Walking loud with they chest in, like you woke up this weekend. Warm it up, so my mother eat pussy for breakfast. And I'm hungry, with a royal push up in my hands. And it's on me, we look up and bust where you stand. Cause I'm on me, present my presence, wake the ball when I'm blessing. No matter what we're the session, cause I'm the man with the OG. Push bar, sip around, go. I'm the jack with the ground steady, watching my thumb. Got it hotter than a sound stage, dripping up the flow. Give a bump to the dome, wish you dropping to the flow. But before you get to working, what I eat for weapons. For seconds and thirds, I'm a digging your essence, then I'm a digging your purpose. Keep that body your lesson, you're tapping out for first round for my seven, seven bless. Back to you actors, trash talking like they was Jackson, stress awesome like they was rappers. My passion to get together for slapping your chip with jabbers. Signs go back as you join the final laughter. You whip a slappers like a need experience. Cause no swagger jack and crepper styles like periods. But I'm living stickers past the paper that's period. But I need the payments with no favors, you feel me? Yes, sir. Better mind my prowess. For I'm swinging at your head 90 miles per hour. Then I'm swinging through the air like a miles per hour. Keep my thinking on the fresh, cause the mind is power. What was the world while you tell the herb therapy keeping every word singing every verse verity if not fuck around and get this flame placing arrows like a fairy you're gonna learn today hey. The soul feeling it, we is embracing flame. I'm coming through, no end of pain. I get you with the rello. I roll the shit, just keep it mellow. We on the love, I ain't talking to jiggle like jello. I keep the honey smooth, matter of fact, I'm making it mellow. I'm on the shot tank, pooping with the sake of pain. It's ionic in the crew, Scott, we in the tank. See, I am soul, we repping shit till it's old. I got the theo soul, we most deaf, repping like J. Cole. Hey. Smooth with it, I be spitting pure flame. Got the lava coming in, the chakras too insane. Man, brain, take it with the play of a style. Got the geese. Coming to yo, we got that live mode. Play it out like it's tribal, no tattoos. Keep it with the shit down. I'm rapping on can't cool. With my brothers and sisters, we rock the vibe. It's the crew side. Come on, let's just rock it. We can just ride. That cypher seal flowing through college year. Lock your ears, catch a feel from these tunes to trill. Music we be making, no less than amazing. The bars will be raising, what boss is only blazing. Blazing like a jailer. Now I click to play with. More until we make it, collecting all them payments. Too trill for life, more than just a statement. Fighting this enslavement, push your other changes. Box of 16, till these fiends of hip pop. Knocking dick weeds on the steam for kick rocks. Or come move in this midnight cruise. The swing colors of truth. 
Play with what we spend, put our words back, my food. People walking your tunes, is they walking with you? Build a vibe, drop, but mindset is to levitate. Lift up from this one, I gotta elevate. Lazy rappers still in the vibe, they post a silver play. Making trappers still in they vibe, she know that's hella late. So the cheeks go on the white, then watch me levitate. Living nice high, it's time to grind, we gotta elevate. We gotta elevate, we gotta elevate, we gotta elevate. Woo! Oh, All right, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I was ready to go. Like, take me all the way out. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Don't stop to the end, baby. Don't stop to the end. All right, y'all. So we are like perfectly on time. It's 9.06. Y'all did a great job in the first half. We got a few more poets. I want to make sure Y is in the house. Y'all see him on the screen? The brother Y. That's what's up. Um, so the next sister coming to the mic is going to do a couple of vocal selections for us, and then we're going to get back to the poetry. This is my cousin, my real cousin, my family, you know. She is a nurse. She is a daughter of her mama and the universe. <laughs> That's so sad. Um, and I miss her. And we we had time apart when we were, were younger and that it happens. And y'all know how it is at the open mic. Somebody always walk past the mic. <laughs> Welcome to the open mic. All right. That's so sad. Um, y'all show some love for Miss Natasha Miller. Come on. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Uh, anybody can do this for me. <laughs> that that good, Nina? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit high. All right, we good. All right, that good lady day. Okay, cool. <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Uh, I really can't tell because we're virtual, but I hope you're doing well. Um, I can hear myself pretty good. Okay. So like she said, my name is Natasha. You can call me Natty. Um, I love music. Uh, big ups to the band because they did their thing. They were spitting. And I loved it. So I'm just going to do a couple of covers. Um, I do have some original music coming. So hopefully the next time we do this, I'll be doing my original stuff. So, but um, I'm gonna take y'all back. I'm one of the old heads. Uh, one of my favorite decades is the nineties. So we are gonna go nice. back a little bit. Hey, hey. Oh, Now that we have come to be a brand new life, I can see. Never thought you'd be a special part of me. Oh, baby. Reasons are because of you. I can go on and make it through. I can't even take my mind off loving you. Yeah. And I want to say, away. no, no. So amazed that you are mine. 
yeah, 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 yeah. If we can work together, maybe we can last forever. This is something that I wanna hold on to. So baby, try to understand. Crazy. So you compliment my style The way you walk, the way you talk Slow it down a little bit. It's hot. These lights. <laughs> These lights work. So, all right. I can pay my own light bill, baby. Buy my own gas in my own car. I can buy my own shoe collection. I've been blessed thus far. I can kill the spider above my bed. Although it's hard cause I'm scared I can even stain in polyurethane But some things just don't change I need you, yeah so hard to say oh i need you babe yeah some things still remain the same i could buy my own groceries baby 
keep my head tied, my nails right. I can floss my own bling bling mm, to the words of the song I sing. I can even raise the child we'll make. Make sure he's loved and he knows what God gave us. I could teach him how to walk and stand. But he needs you to help him be a man. Oh, we need you. Remain. I can be a congresswoman or a garbage woman or police officer or a carpenter. I could be a doctor or a lawyer, a lover or a good God woman. What you done to me? Kind of lover I can be. I can be a computer analyst. Could we with the nappy hair raising the fist? Or I can be much more than a myriad of this. Hot as the summer and sweet as this first kiss. And even though I can do all these things, oh, I need you. I do, I do, I do, I do. And even though I can't do all these things, we need you. We need you. We need you. And I could be a congresswoman or a garbage woman or police officer or a carpenter. I could be a doctor or a lawyer or a mother or a good God woman. What you done to me? Kind of lover I can be. I can be a computer analyst with the queen and the nappy hair raising the fist door. I can be my smart than a myriad of this. Hot as the summer, sweet as the first kiss in heat. These things by my damn self. I need you. We need you. I need you. Oh, oh. and even though I can do all these things, hey, we need you. together she's been doing this event for a year a year before COVID and then you know we had all this happen um and it is hit the mic since the so on Friday night she do an over mic say the next Saturday that very next day on Saturday she does a slam this is okay so let me the slam is called Regal Rhythms and that's just what you call hustlers and you just you gotta you put yourself around who you put yourself around matters. Yes, Lord. So I'm going to be hosting um, Hit the Mic. I'm excited. I've been hosting for a long time. July 16th. July 16th. Okay. And I'm going to let her tell you the rest of it because she, yeah. So one, one more time, y'all, for more poetry. Hello, hello. Enjoying this vibe. And I'm right at home, so I'm just gonna be me. This particular set I am dedicating to a friend of mine, Shayna Brodnax. I got a chance to see real black love in action. I don't know if you've ever seen anybody actually fall in love and those feelings that they go through and just a whole different look, but 
I wrote this poem because of her, Love is a New Melanin, but it also made me think of Ella, Miss Ella Fitzgerald, because every time I think about love, I think about this song. My funny Valentine, sweet coming Valentine, you make me smile with my heart, ooh, don't, baby, don't you change your hair for me, because you care for me, stay, little Valentine, stay, ooh, It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> and this is Love is the New Melanin. I saw her glow like a thousand sunrises radiate and exude. Love literally oozed from the pores of her skin. I want that type of melanin. Skin unblemished, contoured without contour. Smiles extenuated her high cheekbones, using happiness as her blush. Carefully blended eyeshadow with a pop of color was perfected through all the time she closed her eyes and saw a real future within. Her heart hid the promises, but her melanin made it show forth within. Her Snapchats quickly showed her light's gleam. Pictures posted on Facebooks read like memes. The setting of every picture didn't matter because the subject, real love, should have been the caption. This is the real IG. Everyone following her got to see love in action, but only a fraction. Because looking at her is like looking at the sun during an eclipse. The naked eye can't handle it. Her melanin drips like baby oil covering her skin, revealing love is the new melanin. That's that piece. Yes. Okay. So this is for my boo, wherever you are out there. Um, this is for you. <laughs> Come find me. <laughs> this is trust the feeling. I have a feeling. You would resurrect chivalry, eradicate that no good men left theory as you demolish every wall I put up to clear a path to my heart, to cause me to believe in love again, even from the start. You bring back dating like retro gym shoes, move aside every loser, you simply make room, turning my rough exterior to girlish like giggles and smiles. And it all would just take a moment in your presence for a while. I remember that, that feeling of having butterflies, rubbing sweaty palms across my thighs before I shake hands and say hi. But I forgot what it feels like to see truth in someone's eyes. But I have a feeling you make me remember. Bring back sunny summers back to my December. I have a feeling that if we managed to get close for just one moment in time, I'd end up being yours and you'd end up being mine. Yeah. And peace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, okay. So let me tell you why I'm excited because everything was not the way it was supposed to be, but everything is exactly how it needs to be. We are on perfect freaking time. It's 9.25, that's what my list says. All the artists here got the times that they were going on. We kept to it. I love y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us. Y'all next po poet to the mic is Miss Brandy. I don't know Miss Brandy, but like I said, Brandy roll with Hello. me. Roll with, so she rolled with me. Y'all show some love to Miss Brandy. Hi, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Cool. 
So my name is Brandy. I'm going to get right into it. I got two pieces. They're both new. So I've only performed them one other time. Um, so I'm going to start with a short one and then I've got a longer one. The first new one. shit. <laughs> new shit. That's right. Ty, what's up, girl? Um, so this song I wrote about myself, but really about all the strong, independent women, especially artists that I know. Just a little bit of a reflection of how we view ourselves. You could call her the behind the scenes girl, the walking on a dream girl. I wonder what it's like when you scream girl on satin sheets with her toes curled. You do your money dance like a freelance entrepreneur. You probably wish you knew her, what it would take to undo her, a glass of wine or maybe two. You think you wanna know her through and through, but you'd be surprised to know that everywhere you look, everywhere you go, you can find her. She's in the air you breathe. She's mother nature herself. She classifies her wealth with health and she moves with stealth that's graceful. Her taste in music tasteful. Her abrasive embrace is painful. For a soul sold to a world unknown and ice cold set in stone and earth tones. Ablaze in fire like burning rubber on a treadless tire. Earth, water, wind, and fire. I told you she's everywhere. She can't be acquired or squeezed into a box of thoughts or a school of thoughts that can be bought or simply brought about for trust fund babies who drive Mercedes, who could never say they knew her, the entrepreneur, the freelance girl doing her money dance. So that's my first piece. Thank you, thank you. So my second piece, um, you know, we're artists. Thank you, love. You know, we're artists, we're sensitive about our shit. So this piece is very close to my heart. So even though I can't see y'all, if you or someone you know has daddy issues, raise your hand. Cool. So that was everyone probably. So I'm going to get into it. Daddy issues. Trust issues. I could hit you with one or two. Paint you a not so pretty view. My ex used to tell me, I had more issues than Vogue. And sadly but surely, that wasn't a fucking joke. And that ex and my daddy had a lot in common. They both viewed me as someone spoiled rotten. They both called me an idiot, a dumbass, and told me I was what was wrong with the world. And unlike the axis on which this world spins and which it twirls, mine never referred to me as daddy's beautiful little girl. And I'm no longer a little girl. And the true woman inside of me is beginning to unfurl and uncurl from the place which she hides the deepest, darkest places in me that reside. My spirit, body, soul, and mind are newly redefined and refined. My new man shows me what it is to be wined and dined, and he reaches out and touches my most divine. And I'm trying so hard to wrap my mind around a man who came just in time to break down my walls, Simply answer my phone calls, say sorry, look at me with starry eyes and appreciate my thick thighs and all the ways I try to protect myself, my health, my wealth, and my pride. And baby, I swear I'm trying. These demons I'm carrying aren't even mine. They probably go as far back as the Mayans because all around the world I'm hearing echoes of voices trying to talk about their daddy issues. And damn, we have a plethora of views that are not only are they not so pretty, they're just downright fucking shitty. And I'm not being witty, I'm being serious. I used to think I was delirious. At least that's what a man told me I was. And I believed him just because he was a man. Damn, the power you have when you're a man, if you can, could you take a second to think about the impact a man has on how we all think and act and attract and react? In fact, I'll just put it like this for you. Only a man could really undo the pain in this world, the brokenness on which it spins, in which it twirls. What if every woman knew what it felt like to be daddy's beautiful little girl? What if every son got to witness one 
just one man love his mother he'd never have to wonder how to treat a woman how to be a lover how to discover and uncover the beauty and power within a woman and what if every woman was healed right now in an instant for every instance in which her father hurt her and even if he never knew her his choices and actions still run through and through her why does he do that to her of the answers to these questions, I don't think I'll ever be sure, but I do often reflect and try to redirect this pain, which was never mine to obtain or retain, but I am aware of it, and I do take care of it with the same delicacy and intensity that I would treat a ticking time bomb, snip one wrong wire and it all goes wrong. But be careful not to let the time expire. You won't wanna see what's gonna transpire when your toes are to the fire and you're walking the wire, the fine line between father time and your heavenly father. Do you see how we refer to everything as father? I guess that's why mother nature takes the cake for me and for others, they believe God is a woman. And for some, when they look in a mirror, it's not a man they want to see or be, I think we need some reprieve from this reign of mankind. I wish we could slow down, rewind, go back in time and try to redefine his Tory to the something much more beautiful that I know it could be. But that's not really an option. And it feels like we've stopped exercising all precaution. I mean, think about your body count as it climbs and it climbs. You don't even want to think about the amount. You'll only ride this broken wave while you're in your prime, you tell yourself. You don't have any time to sit your pride on a shelf and try to be with and focus on self, your health, your wealth. You'd rather drown all your sorrows. You'll deal with your daddy issues tomorrow. But tomorrow never comes. And your body, mind, soul, and spirits are one. And you're not alone. In fact, your daddy issues are just a clone of a tale as old as time but you can rewrite your story. Believe me, as I'm rewriting mine, I want there to be a new tale that can be told for the rest of time. A story where daddies nurture their daughters and the cycle is redefined. Thank you so much. I'm a poet, closing word. I'm also an artist, a visual artist. I paint. Check me out on Instagram, Brandy Unplanned, Brandy with an I, B-R-A-N-D-I, Unplanned. Much love, much love to everybody who's performed. Y'all are great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is why I love artistry. This is why I love artistry. Turn it down. It's echo. There you go, babe. Uh, because I think we get a chance to hear a reflection of life art should reflect life and it does and every time i miss this yeah. i'm having a little moment i'm having to just why is next to the mic um i miss this and i thank you all for sharing it with me sisters and brothers here and even you all don't know me but I, I, I take for granted that we soon, very soon will. Um, as a matter of fact, if you're looking for something to do on July 16th, <laughs> come on out, come on out. You got it. Did you tell them? As, you didn't forgot. See? She didn't got up here and got caught up in the world. I remind y'all before we get out here. All right, why you next? Bring them up. I see you, brother. That's what's up. We need some male energy up in here. Some, you know what I mean? The sister's been racking. We've been racking, though. Don't what's up? Nah, you ready, my love? Thank you so yeah. much for coming, y'all. Show some love for Y. Hello, everybody. My name is Y. I got two pieces for you guys. So I'll just jump straight into it and give you all my information afterwards. While sitting at the lunch table, eating food that tasted like it was seasoned with two tablespoons of water and a splash of air, I was asked the question. More perplexing than medium rare chicken. Why are you putting so much salt on your food now? I could have responded with, because I like it that way, or do you taste this shit? But I decided to give a deep and thought out response and said, it's the part of a culture to season our food. She looked at me with eyes ready to gentrify my entire plate and said, that's bullshit. All the white coursing through her veins couldn't understand my answer. So to that woman, we season our food the way we do because we like it to taste, well, good. <laughs> We are masters of turning things into something greater and better than just the sum of their parts, even nothing but the scraps of the animals your predecessors enjoyed. Our ancestors made meals that tasted like strength. 
tasted like a dream of freedom, tasted like soul. So soul food is what they called it. The fields got their bodies. Master got their bodies, but every night the soul was fed. The spice cabinet full of potions used to heal the spirit. They were magicians, or better yet, alchemists, turning lead into gold, trash to family dinner, pain into a meal worth having. Family dinner, more holy than Sunday service. The next day isn't promised. So fitting your last meal might be your last supper. So they cooked the salt thrown in their wounds. They put it in their food. You could damn near taste it. The whips on back, tenderizing the flesh. The sun-dried nightmares. The noose around neck of cattle who weren't meant to be eaten, just milked for all their worth. It tasted like struggle. So today, it still tastes like struggle. I sat in the best, I dare say, the best room in anyone's house, my grandmother's kitchen. I sat there while she cooked and was too young to appreciate the magic she was making. I swear she was a witch. No broomstick, just wooden spoon. This, I believe, is when I fell in love with food and the art of making it. She put a smile on everyone's face before it was even ready. Fast forward and my mom turned into the magician. She taught me the basics, shared with me her grimoire until I was old enough to create my own, the pages of which are still being bound together, but don't worry, I dust off my spell book often. You ain't gotta say it. I know that shit tastes good. I made it. It tastes like history. It tastes like our story. And I know you love it. Pain tastes so much better when you ain't gotta go through it. So to that woman, I made you something. Season just the way you like it. Can you taste it? Because I can't. That's that piece. Yeah, I can't hear shit from anybody else here. <laughs> um, so I wrote that piece a few years back, and I, that's a real conversation I had with somebody. So that was just funny to me. And ju let's jump right into the next one. A joke. Something said or done to provoke laughter. Most jokes contain some element of the truth, and now that we're done with the explanation, do you want to hear a joke? What name do you give a black boy who fits the description? Well, anyone. I got another one. A boy with skin painted dangerous walks into a pizza shop. There he's bumped into by a woman whose skin smelled of how dare you and pumpkin spice or just a problem for niggas. His response to the obvious blunder on her part was to take responsibility. You know, I'm sorry, my fault be less dangerous than watch where you're going, it's always your fault. Thrust it, thrust it out of her mouth, a broken court system. Before her was a man, boy wasn't seen. Just skin painted crime yet to be committed. An adult made out of a child by a child masquerading as an adult, I'm calling the police. The battle cry of those not affected by the system. A joke whose punchline too often ends with a flat line, he laughed. As if trying, as if trained to treat danger as a joke, he laughed. As if the, black, the face of a black man was danger, a joke, something to be laughed at. I guess anyone wearing a black face, something to be laughed at. I don't remember the first time I realized I was black. The first time the skin would be all that defined me is this what it means to be both black and man to be two times the danger at half the size I was 14. I was 14, I was 14 where it happened. I finally got the punchline. Me, we, the joke, our reality, TV, modern day menstrual show. They told me to act my age, but what age is appropriate for menace to act? How do I wash off the danger painted on my skin? See, physical comedy is defined as a form of comedy focused on manipulation of the body. Well, black folks been America's punchline for years. The last track drowned out by the whip, the dogs, the hoes, the guns. So much violent laughter. We all just dying laughing. See, black man and former president, brother, uncle, still a nigga, still more black than man. Black father still more deadbeat than dad, more hindrance than help. Black man still more primal than civilized. We are all animals. It's just projects and ghettos, a funny way of spelling zoo. Or better yet, circus, a whip used to beat fear into us unruly niggas. I mean, animals, I mean, human fucking beings, I'm sorry. I've been called dangerous so long, I started to believe it. But wait, this, this was supposed to be funny. So, you wanna hear a joke? A black man is found alive. That's my time, y'all. Um, so, uh, my Instagram is y underscore the underscore poet. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. For a second, I thought I was muted. Um, <laughs> yes. So, uh, okay. <laughs> go in your room on the dresser, find your painting. <laughs> Say that again. Say what you were saying. 
we have to switch off a little bit with the camera. I mean, with the with the volume in between. So before y'all start talking to me, make sure let me tell y'all I can hear y'all. Tell me what you see, brother. Oh, um, I, I said I, I I didn't know if I was muted or not because I couldn't hear no, nothing. No, 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 no. We can hear you the whole time. When we start cheering, we have to turn the volume down because we get feedback. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> talk to you all you all can hear me i can hear you that's all yeah so, i was so unprepared for everything this evening from the time i walked in this house to right damn it now young man we must meet very very soon yes. no much problem. love to you thank you so much for showing up we put your cash out so Y'all, you know, and the truth of the matter is your cash app is going to live on this video because your video going to live on our page. And so if people just roll by and decide they want to bless. No, actually, I, I forgot to do that, oh. so I'll do that. <laughs> did, you, did you give us your cash? Hold up. I'm doing that now. Brother, okay, that's what I'm going to do for y'all. Put mine in there. If anybody want to bless the brother, this is what we're going to do. Soul's going to put me in touch with you, and I'm going to send you your money. And we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. Put mine in there. Tell them that is for why. You live in Cincinnati. I live in actually Dayton. In Dayton, Ohio. Yes. Don't be shocked if I drive. You don't be shocked if I drive up there and bring you your money. That'll be a bribe. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate. Come here. Oh, he I got one. He got his away. cash app. Okay. Just say you didn't want me to come up there. Okay, oh, I didn't see All right, then. So, so uh, just say that. I can take that. You know what I mean? Yo, I'm, all, I'm almost 50. So, for real, I'm doing good. So, we we all, yeah. No. All right, y'all. We're going to keep the show rolling. Mr. Yeah, Brita in the building. Are you ready? Hey, hey. hey. Okay. All right, y'all show some love for the little sister. Turn it down so we don't get the feedback. Hi, love. It's nice to meet you in this venue. I hope to meet you soon. Y'all show some love for Miss Sabrina. Come on. Sabrina, I, Sabrina Ali, let me be clear. Yeah, my, my poet name is Sabrina Ali. All right, um, but y'all can see my last name on my video. <laughs> um, but okay, I'm gonna start with some old shit and then I'm gonna do some new shit that I haven't performed yet. Um, so yeah, I'll go with the old one first. It's for Pride. So yeah, it's called Somewhere Over the Rainbow, I Hear Babies Cry. Somewhere over the rainbow. Two parents mutilated and murdered their eight-year-old son because they suspected he was gay. And since soap in the mouth didn't wash his sexuality away, they repeatedly beat Gabriel Fernandez, knocked his teeth out with a baseball bat, shot him with a BB gun, locked him in a cabinet, the ultimate sacrament, anointing the ill. Somehow his mere existence was offensive, like Emmy Till, 60 years later, it's like time stamp still, gay baby born into a society that despises him, black baby born into a society that despises him, it gives me chills that certain people are still being born into power, and those same certain people still feel entitled to kill. We spend our lives suffocating ourselves in closets so that the ones we love don't have to do it for us. And it seems like the people who have escaped the closets in their homes just enter into an even larger closet. And if closets are dark and the earth outside is supposed to be light, it must always be night pitch black with an inch of light seeping through the door crack. I'm afraid to wear a rainbow button on my backpack. I'm not over here trying to give my Arab Muslim dad a panic attack. I mean, I think he loved me no matter what, but sometimes the thought transforms me into a fucking insomniac laying on my back next to the girl I like. Vanilla aphrodisiac, letting alcohol erase pain and transform us into amnesiacs. Drink the bottle of cognac till it's empty, like heavy abstract, running out of rhymes. Maybe it's a sign, Zodiac. Our society treats systemic prejudice with Prozac. That's much more lucrative than enforcing a human being to treat another human being like a human being. Maybe I'm just dreaming. I dream there ain't no world. 
where you can love the people you want without being chastised, criticized, invalidated, isolated, inherently hated, harassed, treated like trash, all wrapped up in one soft blanket of microaggressions. The term first impression has become a euphemism for a seven second judging session. I remember the first time I got called a dyke. I was really confused, like, could this be one of Floyd's defense mechanisms from AP Psych? This white boy's projection initiated my brown girl rationalization. I want heterosexual people to cultivate spaces where I don't have to fear that my queer is showing on me fear that my queer is blowing spaces where coming out of the closet does not feel like jumping off of the fucking cliff. Literally, my heart is tied out of my chest just think about this. We need the positive representation of LGBTQIA people in children's books and media. No, gayness is not a disease that is going to infect your children's cells like leukemia. I'm talking to the hypocritical parents who go around with their fake ass sweetness like Stevia, claiming that they aren't homophobic, yet deeming gayness as an entity inappropriate for their children's eyes to see. You are homophobic, see? I know babies cry and I. Watch them grow. Bye, hi, Gabriel. And now I'm going to go on to the second one. So this one is actually a long poem, and I'm just doing a clip from it because it's like a 12 minute poem, and I'm going to do three minutes of it. Um, but I wrote it last year. It was like my reflection on COVID-19, 2020 as a whole. Um, I live in Chicago. So like I was going to a lot of protests and it's around that type of thing. Just like my experience with COVID-19 or with 2020 as a year. All right. Um, this is my first time performing it actually in front of anyone either. So I'll be reading it. Uh, we'll see how this goes. America watched the witching of Ahmaud Arbery like it was the next big drama. Saying the name won't bring a murdered baby back to his mama. And we talk about secondhand smoke, but never mention secondhand trauma. It's watching people who look like us actively criminalized, dehumanized, and murdered on national TV. For Arabs, it's watching my people blown up by the US military. For Blacks, it's watching systemic abuse and police brutality. For Hispanics, it's watching families caged over a border that's imaginary. It fucking hurts. I don't know if there's a way to describe the feeling with existing vocabulary. Our pain is not imaginary. It's like a slap in the face, a sting in the lungs, pulmonary. Secondhand trauma is not only watching the murderers roam free, it's watching the murders celebrated with paid leave, like Breonna Taylor's murderer vacationing in the Keys while her family is busy writing her eulogy. It is watching our murders praised in the name of democracy. We're adding one more name to our community's obituary, adding one more black or brown body to the cemetery. Murals are nice and all, but how about some actual policy? 2020 racism is unmasked militarized white conservative protesters being left untouched despite making death threats at the Michigan Capitol because they felt entitled to haircuts compared to unarmed anti-racist protesters being gas shot arrested and murdered by police who strategically destroyed our communities and incited violence to end the peace exhibiting police brutality at an anti-police brutality protest I mean bitch please Proving our own point, thank you for putting in the elbow grease. It's like 2020 was a fucking comedy, but I'm not looking forward to its sequel. Saying all lives matter is like our founding fathers owning slaves while saying all men are born equal. Racism is so American that when you protest it, people literally think you're protesting the US. Real patriots do not wave Nazi or Confederate flags. We fought two wars, did you already forget? Protesting racism in the US has always been illegal. Bullshit saying you just want the protest to be peaceful. Last I heard you thought kneeling during the anthem was pure evil. But looting is wrong, said by those who looted a whole ass continent, living on stolen land, built by stolen labor, pounced by stolen resources without consequence. 
as long as society feels material goods as more valuable than black lives hell yeah people don't damage your property if that's the only way to get you to open your damn eyes broken glass property damage and theft are not violent but you want to know what is suffocation and systemic poverty unclean water inaccessible health care gentrification Racism, white supremacy, Eurocentrism, and police brutalization, war, bombing, occupation, and labor exploitation. Okay, that's not the end of the poem, but I'm going to stop it there just to respect time. Oh, that was all the way, that was all the way, all the way, hold up, not ready. It's been an amazing night, and what an amazing way to end our guests that joined us this evening. Thank you so much, Miss Sabrina Ali. With your pretty smile. I can see you have a beautiful smile. Thank you. Um, also, so make sure to put your uh, cash app. You know, and I forgot to ask everybody, it's been a while since I hosted, but you're here and I'm going to ask you, will you be performing anywhere anytime soon? Um, I'm not performing anywhere anytime soon. This is the first spoken word I've done in like over a year, actually. Um, but if you want to, I have Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Sabzi, S-A-B-S-I-E underscore A-L-I, Ali. Yeah. yeah, that's all I got though. <laughs> what I promise that I will do is I'll make sure that they know that we'll put that information in the uh, news feed as well. And I'll go back and get everybody else's. Thank you so much, love. Woo! You have a wonderful night, and I hope to meet you soon. Yes. Hope to One more time, you all, for Sabrina Ali. Come Woo! on. Woo! All right, so next to the mic. All right, we had to just for a second. It's my brother, Soul. I call him my brother because that's what he is. He composes in Soul. He is also a member of the Back to Love Woo! movement, Woo! as was everybody that you saw here in this space tonight. Woo! It was good. We had a good house party. Yeah. And we on time. And I, we told them they can't listen. Oh, folk got to go bed. I got to be in my house by 1045. P.M. That's the end of it. Y'all show some love for my little brother. So, come on. How we doing, everybody? Because I'm soul. That's what I do. That's what I do. Let's go, soul. Uh, I'm going to hit the mic as well. It's collaboration in a way. Hit the mic. See the t-shirt. Join us July 16th. This is a safe space for arts to happen and express yourself. So for me, writing is my way of expressing my demons. So if y'all don't mind, I'd like to get naked for y'all in writing pen. Let's do it. You stupid. <laughs> this first one is called Manic. This is some new shit. New shit? Yes. My gut has been telling me I'm sick, sick of these thoughts that nag in my spirit without quit. Hot hack and spit on my concentration, mock and pick at my validation more than tries my patience. This is my daily frustration. Less than a second it takes to take me off course, of course, is the catchphrase I say when I mission aboard the main focus for the mi multiple minors. The more it slips away, the more I try to grip tighter. Flashing images one past my skull like a speeding bullet. If they ran any faster, place your bets that I would just might pull it. I've been pushed around by my consciousness. It's a convict that gets his nut off, fucking off my progress limp. Minutes zip past while I'm stuck in the moment of a thousand intruders invading my time, pervading my mind, emotionally, socially, physically, taking up all my life and time. Sleep at night can ease the rush of a few good pups of the blunt, could ease my strife, but I can't afford to have it Friday every day. Too many responsibilities are in my way, which only adds to the stress of keeping myself in check 24 seven with no rest. Fighting to do my best is like a war within a breath. At best, I forget to breathe sometimes. When you're so far up your own head, you have to remind your eyes to roll them back to see what's right in front of you. So if you catch me looking at you, know that I might be looking right through you because it's a constant act to separate me from my thoughts. And too often, I'm the one who's lost. Mm. 
That's that piece. I. This next one is uh, Black Fruit. It's my temptations. I feel like, I feel like a big ass waste of space, meaning nothing. So I got time to waste, shaming my life for waste, staining my eyes with blame. I've had all that I can take of this existence because that's all I seem to do anymore, you know? just existing like why the fuck was i even born no resisting the tempting of my personal hell i know it so well it's the swelling of my darkest of arts and well my attitude is ammo for destruction appetite ample vice hanging my corruption of functions for optimism fucking up my charisma fuck it fuck you fuck me and everything ism void it all like this void that i hold avoiding calls causing noise from my cell phone so I pray to Jesus asking him to fulfill me. He filled me up with what I still feel, empty. So I lie in defense. This line I frequent, I'm fine. So pretend that nothing's wrong. Say face of super strong. It's you they're leaning on. Just carry this weight on all along. They don't need to know most times I just feel like my father, absent the pain in me, captures of all of these thoughts of pure darkness that blankets my altar, alters my vessel, it's a pleasure I foster. I feel like cracking obsidian, these windows of the soul tainted black with oblivion, shadows form matter clogging up my meridians, anger, stress, regrets are the active ingredients, the lowest of frequencies, as cold as the winters be, a woe is this bitter me, the soul that you never see. <clears throat> the face of a stranger I'm maligned too long, who hides behind a mask you mistaken as calm. That's that piece. Yeah. So I got one last one. This is uh, kind of a signature piece. It still runs a little bit on the dark plane, but there's hope out of it. Because if I'm still standing here today to tell you about it, then there's hope for whatever you're dealing with. Just keep pressing on. You ain't got to see it right now. Just keep walking and have faith. I feel forgotten, lost at the bottom. Happiness stayed for the weekend. Mundanes left my wounds hollow. The writings on the walls maybe scared her away. Cursed incantations known as feelings that I see every day. Building up body mass seems like a faulty mask when you can't help but throw yourself in a body bag. Full ball reception for this full on rejection. Learn to pull myself together, yet still I struggle with disconnection. Cause I've known myself too long to know I love and hate myself. I'm too damn smart to know my smarts are bad for my health. Such wealth holds a consequence. So ain't it coincidence, hypersensitivities, the reason confidence was never my best acknowledgement. If my brain has a plethora of options just to abolish it. Looking down my history of friends, most of their company was misery. That ain't their fault if they was attracted to my energy. Apples, apples, friends, enemies, putting it quite simply, I'm my favorite friend of me. So it shouldn't be that hard to see being the best friend of me doesn't always feel what's best for me. Y'all see? Pain shades of me, painfully, sometimes aimlessly, yet my aim's to be more than what I've been chained to be, not letting these oceans of emotions make a cave of me. The stress of my fears, depression from my tears, like to remind me those chains are near. And at this moment, sometimes I just wanna just adhere. Yet this pen tip is looking like slit wrists. I'll throw it away right here because my best friend is calling and he still needs me right here. It's been a night. I mean, it's been a whole, it's been a whole night. It's been a whole night this evening. And thank you. Thank you for the guests who decided to stay on. I know some of the people had to leave a little early. So thanks for hanging out with us this evening. Um, so I am going to be closing the show. Yes. 
I got a couple of thank yous and then like a four minute poem and we will be done for the evening. Um, thank you to Monisha Phillips. Mo, Mo Poetry uh, for letting us use her, use her house. Um, she didn't have to do this this evening. She got a teenager. You know, we all got to get up and go to work in the morning. So I appreciate it. Thank you to my Back to Love family for being here, for making this thing happen. Especially thank you to Previn because yeah. wasn't nobody, I wasn't ready. Some of the people in here, some of the people in here who do this on a regular basis, they were ready. I wasn't ready. Uh, so I thank you all very much for being here and sharing this night with us. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. I have only performed this piece twice. It was written, it was never supposed to really be performed. Um, it's my story. So y'all be patient with me, okay? All right. Hello, my name is Wisdom. And I am a recovering undercover overlap. Recovering. That means that I still have a tendency to lean towards dependency. Urgently, I cling to my sobriety, wanting each time to succeed, but mostly coming up short. I've been here so many times before that the hinges on the door swing both ways. Sometimes I'm committed and falling apart other days. The cycle is never ending. Heartlessly unrelenting. It's a conscious fight. I'm never sure if I am winning. I awake with the same craving, pressing close behind me each day. In my mind, I hear a familiar song play. I rise and sing the refrain. Good morning, heartache. You all gloomy sigh. Good morning, heartache. But we said goodbye last night. But your ass is still here, crowding my space. Still, I find an intangible way to put on a strong face and steady my pace for the warfare. Armed with little more than prayer, I tell myself that I am prepared to slay my demons. Mm -hmm. Trying to ignore every reason to use, but sometimes so self-consumed with the needing, with the wanting to be wooed, I only give a half-ass effort to keeping my thighs together mm -hmm. and protecting my heart in bad weather. I know better, but doing better is another thing altogether. Because the chronic need to give too much of me impedes my ability to achieve resolve anxiously, uh, uh, Acutely aware of the danger involved, I still answer when it calls. I still want him inside my walls and the heights to which I will climb to have it all matches my unrestrained fall in velocity and desperation. Self-validation comes in the form of over-accommodation and feeds the perpetuation that the rehabilitation is a mere contemplation. But on occasion, I find a timid inclination to face the situation, hoping that the elation will help to cure the itch, that I will no longer miss the warmth in my veins that love emits thick with a numbing additive. Get a grip, kick the habit, regurgitate the remnants of being lovesick and admit that I am better off without it if I have to doubt it. But there is no sponsorship for love addicts. So when the wheels on the wagon fail and I'm finding it impossible to repel my desire to inhale love's sweet, sweet smell, there is no one there to tell and I fall in yet again victim to that irresistible rush because what the heart wants is a must. I say I won't give up, but the word of a fiend ain't shit. It ain't one you can trust. Undercover. So you can surmise that I'm good at finding places to hide, ducking around the corners of lies, avoiding the direct contacts of eyes, appearing satisfied but emotionally deprived. Call me the great pretender, a formidable contender for the best disguise. Inconspicuous to an untrained eye, I am a fraud. My outer shell is a facade, hiding immeasurable hurt, bogus when I exert my worth. My deeper research would unearth that I regard bullshit as exceptional work not waiting to see the proof first before my free fall into devotion to someone poorly chosen, complete and utter disrobing of mind, body and soul and desperately trying to please, never asking for what I need, being cut but hiding when I bleed. I am a hopeless case with an elusive face. Put on my mask and pray that my eyes won't betray and expose what my mouth is unwilling to say. Forget to call it by blame by any other name than my own and mine alone. I can't figure the sum because the variables have always been unknown. 
Frantically, I push back against what seems to be an inevitable relapse. Love's attack is so exact that I am reminded of the will I lack. Attempts that end in futile gains. It's a ruthless game. Bending and breaking, forever waiting for the reciprocating to begin. And like most drugs, it doesn't. And I can't defend against that on which I depend, though it leaves me disappointed in the end. So the high is too superior to pretend like I won't come again. Yearning for that fix, that one little hit to alter the state of mind. Keep me on constant rewind, open wide, but up empty inside, over lover. Oh, it would seem that I tend to go over and beyond the extreme, existing inside of an unreachable dream, foolhardy dreams that lead me to believe that if I invest all of me, I will receive 100% of my return, lesson learned. The verdict of innocent has been overturned. Guiltily, I burn. Put my heart on the line too many times without cover. Made the coochie too accessible to undeserving brothers. Trusting the lack of the draw. Trying to stand in love that started with the fall. Never seeking cause for my applause. Faking how I feel just to appease. Choosing to concede even when shit didn't feel right to me. Tired? I've tried to be. Every woman with a fix for every fucking need. <laughs> To men who were too destined to be in to, to be codependents. Senselessly I lent love at its best. Senselessly I lent love at its best. Resource and rest. No stress. Just a queen size bed to stretch away the day the, the day's distress. Kingly respect. Reason to sport an S on his chest. Uninhibited, wet, ever ready sex. Nourished intellect. Help the spiritual manifest. A man hasn't been met who crossed my path with his steps and didn't know that he was being blessed. Love school, we know was never designed with fair rules. But when all else he loses, I am reminded that we can learn from being the fool. And somehow I find the strength to stare that substance in its face and refuse it. Control over my urge to abuse it. I'm not compelled to. So brothers, here's some advice. So brothers, here's some advice. Please use it. If I am not compelled to spend some time with you, please keep in mind I don't have to. And I won't offer any justification for declining invitations. Solely proposed for base gratification. Gratif grat I lose patience with men whose main preoccupation is copulation. Sex never trumps conversation. My physical elevation requires mental stimulation. This revelation too often lost in the translation of meaningless relations. But today I claim liberation over my fixation to impose love where it is where it where there is only infatuation maybe this time for the duration i will fully re recover come from up under the cover of being an over lover and wait for love to love me like i have loved loved endlessly that's that <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot to say. <laughs> I used to know about heart. Age, age is set in. Um, thank you guys again so much for coming out. It's been a blessing. We will do this again. Y'all come and see. Previn is telling us to come into the camera and put it on. Put it on. Um, no, 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 no. Go back and put it on so they can see all of them too. On gallery view. Go to view and put it on gallery view. This is our little family. I, 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 I always got to show one of the Love you guys so much. Thank you guys for coming. Y'all have a wonderful night. Get home safely. Yep, so go ahead and hit the uh, request. Oh, y'all already home. I'm used to being at the real open mic. God damn. All right. Good night, y'all. Good night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. There he is. 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 There he is.